was on the floor and on the other wall I have spider plants and basil which I eat every single day I eat about four leaves every day I just cut this off and put it in my smoothie very good vitamins and these spider plants are not for eating they are for cleaning the air to get a very pure air quality inside the house and also the banana plants they give oxygen inside my house so this entire winter I haven't needed to open the window a single time because the banana plants are giving me enough oxygen and I keep this hallway heated using two computers at the back let's look at them and they are both turned on I'm using Be Quiet CPU Cooler I'm going to show you closer that is the CPU fan CPU Cooler and it is turned on and it is super quiet it is my favorite CPU cooler the name is Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 it is quite expensive but I use this for for, for places where I want it to be quiet and all the loud CPU coolers I have them in the basement and in the bathroom so I'm going to show you another computer up here this one I have uh, on power saver mode so it is quieter than the other ones okay and the problem is that it is not warm enough in this hallway I tried to put that third computer over here but the fuse blew because the circuit got overloaded so I'm not able to have these banana plants here I need to go to I need to move this to the other room instead because it didn't work with the heating in the winter here and I have labeled all the outlets this is the third circuit and it is overloading with a lot of electronics plugged into the third circuit and here's my kitchen and the temperature is 16 degrees it is too cold for banana plants so I need to do something about it let me go to let me go to the bathroom where it's warmer it's very loud in the bathroom let's go okay that is much better vines with the leaves place them in soil and let new 
sweet potatoes grow from that but it was unsuccessful it died because of the aphids but this one seems to be working this one does not work okay so we will see about that and this is my final chance of growing sweet potatoes and it is always the aphids that are destroying everything but the banana plants are working great so here I'm I'm propagating new banana plants so these are the new babies that are coming up and uh, I cut them from the sides of the mother plant here I cut a piece from the side and I planted it in its own little pot and this was less than a month ago and it has started to grow bigger and most of them were successful but one one died and a couple more almost died but let's see what happens with them but this is how you get more banana plants by using the babies beside the mother plant okay and this room is extremely good for growing bananas it is really hot here and I get humidity with the tray over here and these reservoirs with the towels and bucket of water okay so this was super successful to grow in the bathroom and look how huge this banana plant is it is uh, more than halfway there into a large banana plant but these ones are not growing so good at all and something interesting is that when I placed these banana plants on, on the wall they were facing at an angle but they have changed and they are facing upwards into the light so when they are in the pots now they are at an angle all of them have I'm going to stand on, on this chair all of them have it turned sideways towards the light above and they were pointing outside when I put them here so that is very interesting to see how they change the angle okay let me go to the other banana room okay so now I'm in the other banana room with the wind and here I have the destroyed sweet potatoes where the aphids have eaten all the leaves and all of this was failed I put the I put the vines there but they got destroyed so I I can't grow any sweet potatoes here with all of all of the aphids and these are all banana plants and they are going to be become too tall so these are expendable I don't want them because they are going to grow taller 
than the ceiling, but all my other banana plants in the other rooms, they become two meters tall. They are smaller kind of banana plants, but these ones I don't know what to do with them, so what I will do is I'm going to just move them away into a cold place and I don't I, I'm not going to care about them anymore and the important banana plants I'm going to move into this room instead so I'm going to uh, switch places between them and, and here I want to grow some um, nice bananas in the future okay so there's my computer system it is heating up the room and uh, all of them are turned on and they are not producing so much noise because I'm using quiet graphics cards and quiet CPU coolers and this uh, graphics card is broken the middle fan the middle fan is missing but those two fans are working so I'm using this uh, in a power saver mode with lower power so it doesn't overheat and you see the power supply fan is shut off because it is using so little power okay and um, down there I have also uh, all of them are uh, gaming x trio and uh, Strix graphics cards which are really quiet and I want to ask you a question who is the funniest person in my grow room it is the fun guy I have some fun guy growing here but apparently it died uh, because uh, of the heat so the fun guy it grows when the temperature is stable and is very humid but when when the sun came up it killed the the fun guy okay so also here, here's my tomato experiment and it all died all the aphids ate my little tiny tomatoes uh, there are a couple there but I, I doubt they will survive okay so this was my update about my banana plants my floor is whining when I walk on it I'm going to go now I will see you next time